No, I didn't expect it to happen. We were, as I said in the post match, now yesterday our bowling was was exceptional. We, the last hour and a half of bowling, we were just so good in our areas and relentless, and, and we didn't get the results we wanted. But we knew today if we came back, it will change for us. Obviously, not uh, that quickly um, to get eight wickets for 40 runs plus minus is one of those sessions that we will always remember as a team um, that won us a series and was unbelievable so yeah that ranks up right at the top obviously to do it in the one day is against Australia and beat them 5-0 but I think to come here to Australia we as a team know that coming here is, is an extremely hard challenge to come to Australia and beat a really good team um, they've got a, f a full strength team full of no, there's no injuries there so to come here and, and do what we've done yeah, right up there and in, in, in certainly my career yeah. I think the the quietness comes from confidence uh, and the way that you play so and um, we're obviously a team that's confident at the moment so we use that and we and we walk and talk that on the field our body language is extremely good but when you're a team that's under the pump and under pressure not playing as well as you'd like that will fade away it's hard to fake it um, so I think even though at times they they had l little bits of it, we just didn't have the, give them the opportunity to do it for long periods of time. So then, once again, your confidence, you question yourself. Um, and we, the important guys in the team, was especially important for us to try and make sure that we keep them quiet. Uh, if you know guys like David Warner and Steve Smith, if you can put a lot of pressure on them, you know that the the younger and the most more inexperienced players in the team won't have the same punch uh, as they would have if they back up on their performances. So I think we've just made sure that those guys have been relatively quiet in the series. Uh, even guys like Stark, who's a fantastic bowler, you know, he, he, he did amazing things. He bowled really well in that one spell, but that's when, if you're on top, you get a five and you when you, you clean the tail up and you bowl your side, you, you bowl the team out. So we were just really good in making sure we stopped that. By sending yeah, I definitely think so. I think it's important that you, you know, even if it's different formats, we certainly come across here with a lot of confidence. Uh, we did expect a really tough challenge because it's a different team and obviously a full strength team and with two key players in, in Stark and Hazelwood. Um, yeah, certainly not facing them is much better than facing them. Um, so the confidence definitely from coming over 5-0 has, has, has helped us a lot. and. And I think it will be the same case going into that last test match now. You know, we were a confident team and making sure that we'll just do the basics really well. And if we if we do that, uh, we'll keep pressure on the Australian team. Yeah, I think the results have been speaking for themselves over the last four or five months since we started against New Zealand. Um, yeah, this team has been very close to exceptional. There hasn't been many things that we've done wrong. We've been consistent in the way we perform. We've been... Um, a team that's not been relying on one or two persons. We're playing all 11 is putting our hands up at different times in the series. And that's what you want from your group of players. Um, off the field, be very happy. Um, and we want to improve, we want to, get, we, want to, we want to get better. So I think if you keep looking to do those things off the field, the chances are on the field that you might get it right. And, and fortunate for us at the moment, we're getting it right. So now it's just important to, to stay with it um, and stay nice and humble. And, don't think that the world has changed now that we've won a few series, but to keep working hard and making sure we can get better because we as a team want to go special places. What you do? I think you have to find something, whatever that is, it will be for different teams. Um, we looked at a few things that we wanted to change within our team and we did that. And the most important thing is you have to live it. Uh, we The stuff that we spoke about there is not something that is, we're paying lip service to and it's just words. Uh, we're living that every day and because we are doing that as a team, I think our performances are really healthy. So we know that as a team, that's our recipe. And, and if you keep doing that, um, we'll be in a positive, uh, positive state of mind to perform. Faf, Australia's never been swept in a home test series. How would you like that on your on your resume as captain going into Adelaide? Yeah, that's that's the, that's the, the mission for us now is definitely that um, we want to we want to do that uh, very deep or very badly. Uh, it's same with our ODIs. Uh, we won't just rest now on our laurels and, and expecting and ha being happy with two one uh, or even two nil. Uh, we we've got Australia 
in a position now where they're under pressure, and we certainly don't want to let that go. It's it's hard enough to get them in this position, um, so we'll do everything we can to make sure we keep them there. You want to keep the captaincy? <laughs> <laughs> I would. I mean, I love, I've always said it. I love captaining. Uh, I, it's something I really enjoy doing, and for me, it's just really important to make sure, as I said before, that all the stuff that we talk about our culture. That as a captain, you, if you if you live that and you lead from the front. That's the most important thing. So I'm enjoying it at the moment. Um, and however, however long it continues, I will always do it. A bit of a joke. Yeah. Does good old Kyle get the same treatment? <laughs> oh, thanks. I get some love. <laughs> it's his turn tonight. <laughs> yeah, we know how hard it is. Um, even the, I mean, the guys, the Dales and the Hashims, they know that coming here, it's, I mean, we watched on TV for so many years how hard it was for South Africa to come here and do well. Um, so I suppose the younger guys that's looking from back home now can can see that it's possible coming here and, and to an extent dominating an Australian team, which which gives us as a country a lot of uh, confidence uh, where we go and travel. But it's it's extremely special for us. As we know this is something that we'll remember forever as a team and, and that's exactly what we came here to do. We want to create memories as a team together and we, we've done it a few times now, um, but it's not done yet. <laughs>